Commissioner, for coming here today and addressing a wide range of topics. Of course, the 1970s saw a huge change, the early 1970s in Ireland, uh, change from feet to metres and decimalisation, of course, joined the common market. And the change to decimalisation, my father was a, an assistant bank manager in Abbey Field and used to have to go out to places like Brasna and Nakhnagashal. And when he was explaining to uh, the community about the issue of decimalisation, they, they responded to him and said, that might take on in Dublin, but it'll never take on in Kerry. <laughs> uh, but one of the issues that has been raised by colleagues is the ethics of Europe. And we uh, seem to be allowing European con countries, companies and organisations to outsource our standards uh, but not bring those standards to the companies that are manufacturing the goods, manufacturing the clothes and what we are doing by default by not insisting on ethical standards in terms of working conditions for girls and women and men is we are imposing and allowing 18th century working conditions for people in India and Bangladesh. I think we need to insist on the highest environmental standards because if we're going to say we have the highest standards, what we're actually doing is outsourcing and allowing companies to move the jobs abroad but then lessen the standards and as we have seen in some places, horrific horrific working conditions for women and, and, and young girls particularly. And in, also in relation to refugees, we see it then. I, I've, I was in, uh, in Rome at the time that we, the European Union decided to close down Operation Mary Nostrum and we are leaving the rescue of people on our borders, however far away they are, uh, to people who are basically paramilitaries and in other cases dictatorships. So w in our congratulating ourselves in being members for 50 years, we need to ins insist that Europe uh, ensures that it protects people not just within Europe but has the power to protect uh, people who are the most vulnerable, who are supplying goods to Europe and we can use that economic power. Uh, on, on the, the fact that you are here, it's a great occasion for the 50th anniversary of Ireland's membership of the European Union, and the European Union has been described as the longest running peace process uh, in the world. And it continues to evolve and continues to have challenges, and we continue uh, to quote Beckett, try hard or fail better. We saw that with Yugoslavia, and we see that now in relation to our borders with uh, Ukraine and Russia. Could we be doing more? Uh, and we need to make sure, of, obviously we can, but we need to make sure that Ukraine doesn't fail because if Ukraine fails, we know somebody else is next. Uh, and we need to be motivated by the lessons of uh, the, the, the run-up to the Second World War. But the support for the European Union in relation to another anniversary, for the 25th anniversary of the Good Friday Agreement, is also important to acknowledge and remember that the, there are people alive in Ireland today because the European Union got involved, because the United States got involved, and because we had the leadership on all sides uh, willing to make um, the t tough decisions, but the ongoing support, and peace is not just a moment, it's a process, and the ongoing support for the European Union to those most disadvantaged communities, those vulnerable kids who are living in disadvantaged areas, who are being exploited by paramilitaries, European union support for those programs that need to be put in place and it's the same issues whether you're in the suburbs of Paris or the suburbs of Brussels, uh, young kids who are living in economic deprivation are exploited whether they be criminals or paramilitaries, the issues are the same and support is equally vital. Uh, and this year's theme, and I'll finish on this clearly, is peace and unity uh, within Europe and I think it's important that we celebrate uh, what has happened for Ireland as a result of its membership of the European Union and to quote WB8 uh, now and in time to come we hope that that support will continue. Garamagat, Commissioner.